All right, it's me old school. And this is what I've been doing recently. I've been copy well, going through all my old Spectrum games and some of them don't work due to tape failure, wearing out, 30 years old, you know, whatever the case may be. So I've still kept all my original, um, I say games, but my original games back when I had my Spectrum that we never sold other than the originals. So the program that I've been using is Tap Err, if I pronounce that correctly, and I'm using version 1.0. So what this program does, double click on it, and it converts tap files, it converts TZXs, if I've got that correctly, and it imaging and plays them back. So basically what we do, I've worked out that if you select the left channel, it's a lot easier. So down here I've got a um, the actual copy of um, Chucky Egg. So here, I think, I'm not sure if it will say, it's a T Z X. I can't read that from here. I can't, which I should. It's a T Z X file. So what we do is just drag that straight into um, straight into the folder, and then we go to block, select all, and then on the left hand side, we will scroll down to the play. So all we need now is a um, if I've moved the camera around. So I've got a lead that goes from the mic, well sorry, the um, what you call it, the audio lead, and that goes into a cassette player with an audio tape in it, and that goes in the mic socket on the actual, um, on the tape player. So that is generally what I've been doing. And it's, it's quite funny, it is, because you're loading up games and everything, and, you know, you, you, if a game don't work, then you, you, you're tr trying to get it to work, basically, again. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So if I take out the actual audio lead, it might be a bit loud. The laptop, I'm using the volume as, as full. I am. So that's on full, and the tape recorder is on full volume as well. Not sure if it makes any difference, I'm not. But yeah, if we go to play, is that we just go to the left channel, because I know that I've had not many problems with them, um, of going from the left, and then go to play. So this is already sort of started, but you get that you do and then that will convert obviously with the lead to the cassette obviously you push record on the cassette player and that is really what how I've been converting cassette well t t um, TZX and tap files basically my old games back to cassette so I hope it finds an interest to you guys and it takes a long time a long time to sit through and go through and make sure they all work anyway thanks for watching good night